these basic nervous functions are automatic. That's why a polygraph can often uncover a liar. But some nervous functions we can control. And that opens up possibilities which could help revolutionize medicine. How are you doing, Steve? Ashley Goodman isn't your everyday uh, dentist. Today, because you... He uses uh, hypnosis to, to control pain. Now, what I'm going to want you to do is be able to form a mental picture. Today, he'll be drilling out a tooth to replace a crown with no anesthetic or drugs whatsoever. Oh, it's so Pain is perception. Reality is perception. So what we can do is alter their perception of reality. As the hypnosis begins, Dr. Goodman completely changes Steve Fine's perception of his world. I want you to notice wave upon wave of relaxation with each breath you take. Letting out the breath, the tensions of the day down still deeper. The most comfortable, secure. For Steve, things are about to get very weird. In only minutes, Steve has stopped thinking he's in a dentist's chair. It isn't necessary for your mind to stay here. Your body will need to stay here and be treated. But your mind can go wherever you'd like. Hypnosis transports him to an imaginary playroom full of toys down, and gadgets. Down deeper. Down. When the deeper. drilling begins, Steve you. thinks it's toys buzzing. And what I'd like you to do now is just open your mouth, and in the background, you'll hear noises of the electronic toys. There's some of the toys now. Everything you're now seeing is for real. Normally, no one could endure such treatment without feeling pain. But Steve has been feeling something completely different. The theory is that hypnosis acts on the brain's emotional response to discomfort. Brain activity can change temporarily, so we process pain signals as if they were a different emotion. As the tooth enamel shatters, pain sensors are sending signals along the nerves. But inside Steve's brain, messages that would normally be received as pain have now become pleasant sensations. After 45 minutes, Dr. Goodman brings his patient out of hypnosis. At the count of three, awake and refreshed and alert. One, two, three. How did you feel? Good. Point. Good. We're all finished. The hypnosis is a success. It completely fools Steve's nervous system. I remember, you know, laying back in the in the chair and then just kind of feeling some some slight sensation, and other than that, everything was fine. It was just a nice, very relaxed feeling. The effect lingers. Steve's mind will continue to interpret the pain as pleasurable until the tooth heals. Hypnosis shows that the mind can be as powerful as any anesthetic. But science is catching up with this centuries-old technique. Even teaching us how to bend our nervous systems to our will.